Democratic women rallied at the state house and at other spots around Ohio this week, led by House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. They called for equal pay, more child care, and more paid sick leave for working women. We do honestly believe if you want to grow the U.S. economy, the best thing you can do is engage women in the economic growth of our country. Jackie Borcher, what was the point of this tour? What well, was to call attention to women's issues? Uh, it was a bus tour that came across the Midwest. It started in New York, uh, home of suffrage, and uh, really uh, just an attempt to uh, raise awareness for women's issues that women in politics do exist, and that you know they're trying to uh, improve. Uh, they're working at the policy level to, to pass policies that are favorable to women. But so it wasn't for any specific candidate or necessarily it was just for the issues? And no, like and that. you know, Pelo Nancy Pelosi led the, the bus tour, but we had our um, Ohio Congresswomen, um, Marcy Kaptur and uh, Joy Speedy, uh, Marsha Fudge were on the bus at some point, and then at each stop they had local officials too. Um, in, the, in Columbus, we had some state legislators and also state uh, candidates for office. But the thing that puzzles me the most when I talk to somebody like Joanne Davidson, former Ohio House Speaker, she puts it very well. Women understand the big problem is the economy. They're the ones that have to deal with the checkbook the most. And the problem, Nancy Pelosi was Speaker in control of the U.S. House of Representatives for four years, including when Barack Obama became President. They drafted the supposed recovery plan that was going to make everything happen. They came up with Obamacare. The economy is floundering. That's the main problem that's facing families in the middle class right now, poor recovery in the economy. But they did pass the Lilly Ledbetter Act, which is goes to the whole equal pay issue. Well, but why don't they talk to Ed Fitzgerald up in Cleveland? The media is documented on the disparity in his pay between his male staff There's getting much more. There's also disparity among statewide candidates. Yeah. And to be fair, his is less than Kasich's if you're going to... Well, stack up but the if numbers. you look at the number of higher paid people on his that are male, the percentage, it's a lot worse. And his chief of staff, by the woman, is no way you says. can make sense out of this. It's unfair. Women do have disadvantages. And, you know, I, I, I remember the former speaker and I respect the former speaker. Um, but there are a lot more issues than what she just talked about. Well, but if the economy is better, pay, everybody does better. That's the main problem facing and, Americans and, in the middle class. And there are some people who are in Congress who have, who have blocked uh, our president and trying putting things in place. But Nancy Do you know Pelosi and Barack that? Obama had two straight years where they could rubber stamp through anything they wanted. They got it. They said, bring all this recovery. We haven't got it. Didn't it, work. It, well, new economic numbers just today talk about the we've now restored all the lost jobs from the recovery. Um, obviously, the population has grown. That has happened in the United States. It has not happened in Ohio, certainly. And Ohio has lagged monthly job growth numbers, again, national averages, for several months in a row. I'm not making anybody's campaign points here, but just a little little fact-checking here. It, there are two sides to this. Except Ohio is now below the national rate in terms of unemployment compared to when it was at the height of the Strickland years, 10.9%. Oh, there's 10. no question. That unemployment you know, in the low sixes is very impressive. But you look at the number of jobs that has led to that low unemployment, you know that's not the factor. And yeah. the type of jobs that are being produced, the wages that they're garnered for family, that's a lot to be desired. You know, women are the head of households in majority of, of cases now. And so the issues that they're talking about are can be seen as minor when you, you know, put a big thing like the economy in front, but they're important to on an individual level to a lot of people. Well, well I think women get it better than men to be blunt because again large percentage of the households, they're in charge of the checkbook and they're worrying what's going to happen week to week and month to month. 